Okay, there you go. So you got Derek Mears and Mike McFarland. Okay, okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. Did you find it? Yeah, but it wasn't the same guy. No, it's not the same guy. He okay. sounded very good, though. He did, yeah. Like, he it's was like, like I, I swear that he could just be like, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> Bring I'm, me with what it, everlasting darkness. They, oh. they are establishing scene. We are in an island that <laughs> might as well be fucking Puerto Rico with how fucking condensed it is with all the people <laughs> that are there. Yeah. Uh, Two thirds of the island is is just desert with a bunch of like dangerous wildlife. And then the one third is where pretty much fucking everyone is. Yeah. The dad is, is or I guess was or still is part of the White Fang. They have continuous meetings. Blake didn't know about that, I guess. Uh, he he used to be the high leader of the White Fang, and now he's just chieftain of the of the island. Right. So. And uh, and it, she it does sounds, know. She knows, but like, why was he so 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 surprised that? And she was surprised that they're still talking to the White Fang. Oh. Yeah, like, yeah, like uh, they. She thought because they actually left before she left. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. that's what she was saying it's like I, I grew up within the White Fang I was basically raised into it or, or born into it uh, and then uh, I guess afterwards she left and I guess it's just her and figuring then the, out that's when Adam rose up as yeah. after they left yeah, yeah that makes it sense it kind of seems like fucking Adam is just fucking the, the, the high ruler now no uh, I know the high ruler Khan yeah, high ruler Khan, Khan. Is the, I don't think it really mattered all that much. Those guys, as they were walking down the steps, said that they were gonna f- inform Adam. I yeah. think I think we have some some atomists on our hands. Pretty much. <laughs> okay. Like so we're just gonna like we're gonna do that now. Like <laughs> <laughs> every show has their Jaegerists, I'm telling you. <laughs> but there is like they're all like undercover and like the I, I feel like the White Fang is slowly gonna migrate to just this like radical fucking terrorist group almost, and then. Maybe even Khan is like, like he could be even more evil than Adam if you actually think about it. Like, there's, Maybe. there's, we, we don't know anything about him. There's nothing for us to go off of that he's yeah. any different from Adam. Because they did say that after uh, 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 Gira, which is the dad, like uh-huh. stepped down, like they have become a little bit more aggressive. Like, the, the white fan became aggressive the moment that Gira stepped down. All my, all, yeah. like, all, all I want is, is if, if they're building up Adam to be this, basically, this force of, of you know, I, I like the, to be reckoned with kind of like a force to be re- yeah a force to be reckoned with like I I, I want like I, I wanted to basic like you know, I, I do want Adam to to feel like that I, I like I don't feel like at any point like he he gets downplayed or anything like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know cinder got downplayed mm-hmm. she was super strong and then yeah sure Ruby had her um, ultra instinct you know <laughs> I'm um, just supernova right here in front of you. Mm-hmm. Do something that we don't even know what's happened yet because yeah. it hasn't been discussed. But ever since Ruby did that, Cinder has been like, just like at the bottom of, yeah. of, of, the, of the villain ladder. Salem so did, the Fall Maiden. Yeah, say, uh, Salem did say that ever since she got the Fall Maiden, she gained the weakness. And that I guess that's what happened there. I mean, where, but like, I that that's I guess the one thing that I just don't understand like how like I thought that is it because for, I don't know the the fall maiden is is fighting against her semblance or something like that or or is it like like is it's eating you up maybe I don't know like I it think, hasn't been truly explained yeah, yet as to it has why. I think I think my my take for it at the moment is as if a, whenever a Pokemon gets a new typing then you also get that typing's weaknesses i mean i, and, I understand and that's the only that. thing i just that don't I, can... I, I just don't think that it warrants cinder becoming like because she was the villain up until volume three yeah and now she just feels like a pawn or like a henchman type villain mm-hmm. like where like she's irrelevant like if i feel like right now if ruby were to fight her ruby would fucking mop the floor with her I, because she's that yeah. fucking weak i feel like I don't think that's true. I do feel like Salem is kind of playing her cards close to her chest, and I do think it's like a game of chess to her. Where I don't, I don't think Cinder is a pawn. I think she's more like uh, maybe a piece. I'm not gonna say the king, but a piece that you want to protect more because they can't give the full maiden away. 
They have it now. They have to get the spring made. I guess. I mean, they did. She did say that, like, uh, Cinder, you are the key for success or like for for this to succeed. So basically, she's up playing, if anything, Cinder. But right now, she is, like you said, kind of like that that uh, uh, china, that uh, fine china that you don't want to break. So you put mm. it on crystal. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah and and that's like my 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 thing, right? Because like, oh uh, yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah. Okay, so they they she she might be the key to to every to to winning this whatever mm-hmm. war as she's having Salem's having with fucking Ospin, mm-hmm. um, but still like we you had we had already established Cinder to be really strong yeah formidable and, and she showed that even when she had the full maiden power she didn't she didn't show any weakness mm-hmm. like this weakness came after because they wanted to basically take her out of kind of like put her in the in the bench for a while so that they can give the other uh, the other villains time to to I guess develop. I guess maybe there there was probably a plan where Cinder is like the right-hand man of Salem. Mm-hmm. And then when the Silver Eye incident happened, Cinder's like, "Oh shit, we might end up losing this." I th- I think it's just it's just that we don't know what the Silver Eyes thing does. Mm-hmm. Again, it's it's being kept on the wraps pretty well. Uh, the fact that they're not disclosing what actually happened. Like, mm-hmm. we just don't know what the extent of the Silver Eyes is. And it might be just, like you said, Ultra Instinct, which is something so fucking crazy to the point that even even Ruby was out mm-hmm. for weeks. But since she wasn't the one taking the damage, she didn't necessarily I, I just hope that... I, like, my thing is, I just hope that they, they've already had enough time to establish these characters. We know how strong Adam is. Like, I just don't want Adam to be downplayed later on. Like later down the line, mm-hmm. where like clearly he's he he was shown to be formidable, and now he just looks like a pushover. Yeah, because Cinder's looking right now like a pushover mm-hmm. because now Salem's in play, and now Salem is the big bad. I I do hope you're wrong, but also the community is very vocal about how much they don't like Cinder, mm-hmm. but I haven't disliked her. I I mean. I dislike in what sense? Because if she, if you dislike her because of the things that she did, then that just proves that she's a good character. No, yeah, no, yeah. no. no like, and that's honestly what most people hate her on. It's because of like killing uh, Pira and. Oh really? Yeah. You think so? Because yeah. people are like, like if I, th- I feel like if I said Cinder is a good character, people would be like, "What the fuck are you smoking?" Like that's. That's sort of the impression that I got. If, people just like, but is it be, is it before volume three or after volume three? That's because what I'm starting to if, think. If if they're saying if they if they dislike Cinder because she's like you know she's not a good character, then it probably just is is because they made a decision to put Nerf, fucking Cinder yeah. in the bench. That's kind of the th- and I don't I want I don't going. want I don't want that I don't like I want I want a proper resolution to these characters. We have we had already established that Adam is a, a, a fucking he took Yang's arm mm-hmm. easy. Yeah, like with with no effort whatsoever, mm-hmm. and there's this like weird fucking uh, toxic boyfriend <laughs> scenario yeah. going on with Blake, yeah. Yeah. which kind of seems like it's continuing. But I kind of yeah. like I just don't want it to be just that. I just don't want like I I don't want it to get to the point where like fucking Blake finally confronts his, like uh confronts adam and then when she shows that she has like grown and she's like i'm done with you and he's like uh, 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 please uh, oh my god you need me <laughs> you know i don't want that i don't want that and that would piss me the fuck off yeah like i want i want i want to be like all right blake let's fight you know like fight to the death some I don't know. I no, don't yeah, know. I'm totally, I'm totally with you like, on all of this. They're they're doing a lot. They're they're doing so far a really good job. They're like, oh, oh, should we tell Master Adam? <laughs> yes, we should. You know, like it's like some something interesting is mm-hmm. happening. Yeah, right? I, I do feel like everybody has like their villain time to shine, and I think now the reason maybe why they nerf this girl right now is to put uh, Adam on the spotlight because it seems like that that is mainly the the villain that we're facing I right guess. now. I yeah, guess. that's true. That's I true. I just I like I, all I'm saying is Adam better fucking deliver, and I I don't want to fucking. Uh, but I'm, you need me, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> you're hey, you're calling it now. So if they do that, I, I will be very disappointed as well. <laughs> And then Tyrion comes in and he's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just like fucking laughing at Adam, dude. That'd be funny. Uh, fucking Tyrion comes in and is like, you know why Adam is so weak? Because I took out his eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> and I put two eyes right at him. <laughs> I mean, he does wear a mask, so hey. 
I feel like you feel you feel the same way about Cinder as I do with like Nezuko. I just <laughs> like on Demon Slayer, I just always want Nezuko to be like active. Okay. And whenever she's like not participating with the group, I'm like, like yo, like what? Come on, like, her out. You should know, like you should know already that the show's not about Nezuko. It's about Tanjiro. Unfortunately, it's about just like Dragon Ball's about Goku. It's about fucking Musan Kibutsuchi. Come on, bro. Okay. Keeps on sushi. About how he likes to, you know, try to try infect other people with his blood, <laughs> with his uh, magic touch. Yeah, so the the father dynamic on this was actually pretty funny. I actually do like their dynamic as well. Freaking, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. that, uh, that's I guess like that. Like I, I would say like that's my only other thing. Like, I feel like Sun was, was a lot smarter in the earlier volumes. Like he just feels dumb now. Am I wrong? I'm. Yeah. Am I wrong? No. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Because I was like, he was dumb, and then I was like, wait, no, that was Neptune the whole time. It was dumb. Like I feel like I feel like Sun is a lot dumber now he's not really reading the room but like, <laughs> i mean like he didn't read the room before but at least he was like cool yeah i i, I just thought it was fucking hilarious whenever they closed the doors and he's like man those guys were crazy and it's like <laughs> i really don't fucking like it. <laughs> i just thought that was really good uh yeah now i i can see why you say that he's dumbed down or whatever but the other thing is that he also comes from a place vacuum and it's not unless you watch the the world of remnants and all these you would understand that kind of vacuum is kind of like the i want to call it the lower tier kind of like the third world country of the I mean, like and then and then you have so like he has no idea to read the room because there's no point of reading the room over there like they don't they don't dress up they don't do it and hence why like whenever they show all the schools they were the only ones that didn't have a, a uniform they they're kind of like wilding it out over there uh and so there's a lot of things that he did that yeah looked cool at first but i think it was mainly the shock factor mm-hmm. whereas now it's like now you're studying down the character and he's just not uh, cultured, I guess you can say, and like so, he doesn't even know the background of the faunuses per se. But mm-hmm. since this girl has been on the fight every single time of their of a day of her life, she's like, "You are the dumbest person alive. Like, how can you be saying all these things and be okay with it?" I guess I, it's like just like in the earlier volumes, it didn't feel like there. It just didn't feel like he Blake, didn't talk and, much, Blake and Son didn't argue as much as they do now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Whenever, whenever she was explaining her back her backstory, she was not taking a liking of him because she's like yeah like oh you oh like what was it oh he stole some apples and, and she's like do you ever like break the law uh, without a second thought and he's like why aren't you in a fucking cult and he, she looks at her like like dead side yeah but that was like that was a that, that was like son being a smart ass you know like <laughs> that that was like that was him like making a jab back at blake you know like that like as opposed to now he's like man blake has some moves <laughs> Uh, yeah, not sexual. I mean, you know, you know, she, she's a good fighter, but but you know, she's pretty average. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. He's trying to be like respectful around the family, but he also probably has never had a girlfriend before, so it's kind of being I mean, too. Okay, that, I'll, I'll give son. I'll, I'll I'll give him a pass on this episode. I thought it was the thing, funny. The thing is, like, uh, like look, going forward, I do think you're gonna be riding that train a little bit harder, and it, and I think it's just because. He's not a main character, so there's really no need to develop him too much. Uh, I and, I, and I think that is the reason why they that, did it. That I kind of disagree with because, you know, if, if I don't know, like he's if he's a supporting character, then he needs to you know, the support. He, he needs yeah. to be the support. Like and I, I like if you make him less and less relevant, then why even write him in the first place? Yeah. Just for the sake of the story to continue moving forward. I guess so. And I, I do understand your your uh, critiques. Towards him, he used to be. He that. used to be one of my favorite characters, I, I, and he's honestly not there anymore. Like, don't get me wrong. I like. I. I, I mean, I like the characters. I just like. I, I guess in these past couple episodes, I've been kind of like seeing where like it, it just kind of feels like they're instead of like having. Again, like I kind of like how I mentioned last episode. Like, if it it, it doesn't feel like it's character motivated. Mm-hmm. You so, really want this show to live up to like its full potential, that it's like setting up well i mean like i think i I, they've they've had three volumes where they started developing these characters and they're very interesting Mm -hmm. like don't don't just for the sake of moving the plot forward don't don't um don't hurt the characters like that yeah i think some are like we're seeing in this volume some are very hit and miss not not like miss miss i mean like like, i I mean like they did a they're doing a really good job with john 
Yeah. Like, yeah. I, like I'm very invested in John mm-hmm. in, in seeing his growth. Like, he is suffering through the fact that he, you know, he lost Pira. Mm-hmm. And, and like, him constantly, like, training with her, with her recording, like, that's, that shows you know a good character development mm-hmm. he shows that he's, he's in pain that that he's in pain mm-hmm. and that he's striving to to become better for her in a sense mm-hmm. right and, and and his character also reflects that because he is wearing her sash mm-hmm. you know and, and it's part of her and and his shield is part of, um her little tiara or whatever. tiara thing is part of his shield like there is character growth yeah. Now, if they if if they just fucking continued making John the stupid one, and, then it hurts the character. Yeah. And then it was like, what are you doing with him? Mm-hmm. Like, I th- I thought like these past couple episodes, he was like, like it's like it's like later down the line, like say like volume, I don't know, five six. You know, you they spend so much time developing John, and he doesn't do anything after that. Yeah, they give you they give you volume one, John. Uh, it's literally then, it's literally like, and I love Cobra Kai, but it's literally like Cobra Kai. All oh over god, again yeah. Because like. The characters have learned so much and they've developed so much, and then we get to volume four and they're making the exact same mistakes that they were making back in like volume or in the first yeah, season. Yeah. Which the shows, I still love the show, and you're you're here from Cobra Kai. I still love the show, but yeah, we, we do. <laughs> we enjoy. And it. I actually do like Karate Kid is like one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah, I just um, I, I just don't want it to like I don't know like to I, be regressive. W- yes, in a sense, right? Like I just don't want store like I guess like that's one of the things that I don't like the most, like where it's like. The story doesn't feel natural because they're trying to push the story along, mm-hmm. and the characters don't grow and with the it. The characters or not just kind of like like it's it's like you're pushing it, and then like the the story is just kind of like pulling the characters like by strings, you know? <laughs> they're fucking ragdolling on the yeah, back. <laughs> like it, it, I just don't like that. I don't I don't like that. Like because like it, it, it at the at the end of the day, you don't really have a character to relate to because the character that you were relating to at the beginning no longer no longer has a character is, is important. As a part of the story, yeah, I, yeah, and you're you're right. Uh, so that is that is also a fear of a lot of people too, because uh, I feel like um, the plot gets better, yes, and, and the story gets extremely more intricate. But I can see how some people may feel like some characters may have fallen from grace and not pick, picked up. And so, <laughs> like, and I, I'm not gonna lie, like, uh, Son is gonna be one of them because I don't like it's. It's not that I don't like him; it's just that he's not my favorite anymore. And it's not because more people necessarily have risen to that level, but rather because he has fallen from the ranks. Yeah, and I, like I just don't want it to be like towards the end of like just the series of Ruby. It's like the, the only characters in play and are actively in the story is just Ruby and the villains. Mm-hmm. Like what happened to all these other characters? Like they killed, they got killed off. You know, they died. They, I guess so. <laughs> Fucking a- everyone got shot in the back of the head because yeah. they no longer needed it. <laughs> They all got a uh, fucking uh, goddamn torch wicked. Yeah, they yep. They all got eaten by because like creams. that. I mean, but at, the, at least the way that they killed off Torchwig, in a sense, was good because it's not like he lost relevance. It's just that they realized that they didn't need a torch week anymore, and so they killed him off. Mm-hmm. They Boba Fetted him, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But at least they Boba Fetted him. Mm-hmm. It's like like the same like I I, I would be very upset if the same thing happened with neo or neo just no longer appears she got blown off in the wind by like by her umbrella and that's it you're right she, she hasn't made an appearance mm. and like like what happened with neo neo was a very interesting character neo yeah. is a very interesting character what happened yeah. or you know like i mean granted she hasn't shown up yet maybe she's not relevant to the story but maybe she might become relevant to the story later on yeah, i just don't want it to be a work. thing where like they've established neo as a formidable force against the heroes and then she's out of i mean out of the picture the thing is that does she need to be back like torture torchwick is out so like is there any yeah, need but, for her to be yeah, back? I mean, what but the hell it happened? was but like i mean like was she like part of Torchwick's gang yeah she was then she might take over Torchwick's gang but Torchwick really never had a gang he just I mean bought I, them I, off. I get that but like it, it like then, uh, then at least if you're gonna give us if you're gonna give closure on Neo then give us closure on Neo and not just don't fucking write her off as being blown yeah. by the wind fucking Mary Poppins style you know like I mean, fu- maybe see like maybe I don't know fucking have an episode where like Ruby encounters Neo and Neo's it, you know I don't know Neo's fucking like you know 
You killed my master. She can't, she can't fucking speak anymore, but she's like, yeah, no, Torchwick's dead, so I have nothing else to do. And mm. she just kind of like regress, she regressed back into like, like that'd be uh, funny. Like I don't know, she went into like a very domestic lifestyle. She just kind of like said, you know, like that. I have nothing else to do. She's freaking cooking for a hubby. And now she and now she's just kind of like living in a house or somewhere, you know. I could totally see her like fighting with the good guys. I could see that too. Just like she's like this sh- cloak character that like saves Ruby or something like that, and that's a like she's like this like jungle neo that's been living in the wild for like <laughs> a you, few months. <laughs> do you think that there's gonna be any any villains that switch over? If if there was one, I would say Neo. Neo, yeah. Um, because Neo was the only one that's kind of like in that neutral, like gray area. Cinder, really? Cinder. No, really. You don't I think, think so? I, I don't. I think she dislikes Ruby too much no, to like. I don't see Cinder. I don't know. Like she's too much of a bitch either, right now. Either to, to fight against uh, Salem at this point. Either Cinder, or if anything, or if, Mercury. And I'll tell you this: if anything, if anything, there's infighting. In the in the in in the Salem's, I could totally see uh, Mercury like and, a civil uh, war, May, and, uh, like a little like say that uh, emerald? Cinder... emerald splitting. Like, what if Mercury and Emerald split? No, be, I don't, I don't, don't think, think so. I don't think so. I think I think they're in it. They're in it with Cinder. I think if anything, like the 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 only thing that I see right now happening with Cinder is that Cinder is fed up with the way that Salem is treating her, and she starts. She might like start a coup. And then she tries to get mm. like Mercury and, and Emerald to fight against Salem, but then fucking Salem just goes full on evil villain mode, fucking disintegrates the two of them, and then maybe I don't know, fucking extracts the fallen maiden out of Cinder, something like that. I ju- I don't see Cinder being like I'm a good guy now. Okay. Ever like it? It's it's just not looking like that in the story. I don't know. Maybe maybe not. We All will right. see though. We will see. Goddamn, we theorize so much about this show. Yeah, I mean, I I, I mean, actually I actually granted, like this. half half of these are like bullshit theories, like fucking Austin yeah. being fucking a fucking parasite. And- I don't know, dude. <laughs> you might have hit the nail on the head with that one. <laughs> well, we didn't see him this episode. It's true. But yeah, like I I do like hearing y'all's theories, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys also like hearing the theories. Oh, it's just funny because like my theories back in the day were not as intricate as the ones that you pull out. So I like I laugh hearing at y'all's because some of them are fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and the biggest theory of all, still running four volumes in, <laughs> the big bad of the show is still Summer Ruby's Rose. mom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the next couple of coming episodes and see where the story takes y'all Bro, mentally. Let, here, let, let me throw let me throw you one quick theory. Monkey wrench. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you. I'm gonna throw you one, Jake. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ruby silver eyes. Is Summer Rose's semblance. Boom. <laughs> she fucking like gave like as a as a parting gift, she fucking gave Ruby her, her semblance. semblance as a as a defense mechanism in the case that she's ever in the, But Summer Rose didn't have <laughs> silver eyes, did she? The only the only thing I can slap back at that is, is because of the fact that they already mentioned that silver eyes is, warriors were it, a thing. It, yeah, exactly. They, it's they been going existed. on for like centuries yeah okay but i mean like it's it's you could you could say that the only reason she i I mean she she doesn't know what it is she can control it so i mean fucking you don't know fucking but uh like summer rose could have just been fucking inside ruby rose like as a defense mechanism like before she ever goes like fully berserk because like what if she goes silver eyes mode and starts destroying the whole world you don't know how these fucking warriors are that is true uh, but yeah, and also, and also, Crow did say like, uh, you're not, you're not special, as in Daddy loves his little girl special. You're, you're like your mom. So yeah, you kind of hit on the head oh, that the mom shit. is oh, silver eyed. That there's a, a, there's a fucking point in the story where like Ruby, like she's about to fucking go silver eyes, and then fucking she's like in this like in the white world, in the world, in the anime white world, and she meets Summer, and fucking Summer goes like, I'm your mom. God. And then she slowly turns into fucking uh, uh, Salem. You gotta beat me now. <laughs> the coolest shit. <laughs> fucking like w- that's gonna happen. Ruby's hair just goes full on like silver, and that would be cool. Fucking, you find out the feet. She's a fucking summer maiden or bullshit like that. And mm-hmm. it'll be cool if, if like her outfit kind of does like the Raven thing from uh Teen Titans where she's usually black or purple and all of a sudden she turns white like her whole dress and whatever. 
I'll be cool as shit. And she fucking like just like the 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 her fucking scythe turns into a new weapon because she can fucking transmute it fucking like alchemy shit. <laughs> That'll be fucking cool. Alrighty, guys. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll let you have those theories and you know and, and kind of marry I, like, I mean, I'll fucking keep chucking them out. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. See. Just biff. Just just biff. biff, 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 biff. Hope you guys enjoyed another Weeb's Closet reaction. A special thanks to our Patreons. We appreciate your extra support to keep this channel going. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. See you in the next one.